Property of Marshall, Carter, and Dark, LTD. Item number, SCP-102. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-102 is currently in the possession of Marshall, Carter, and Dark, LTD. Because ownership appears to be a binding, deed-based, legalistic agreement independent of eminent domain, SCP-102 cannot be transferred to Foundation Control in the foreseeable future. Description. SCP-102 is a pair of standalone condominium-style beach houses located at blank, currently owned by Marshall Carter and Dark LTD, through the use of a dummy corporation known as Geezer Housing Associates, and rented to MC&D members as a vacation home for those with discerning taste in the eclectic adventures of privileged life. The two share similar properties, although data expunged. SCP-102-1 is the house on the left, number blank. When a person whose name is not on the lease for SCP-102-1 enters the building, its interior appears as that of a crumbling empty house, with the prone body of the current leaseholder just inside the doorway if the house is occupied. Forensics tests on materials recovered from within the house show it to have been abandoned since the mid to late 70s. All photographs taken within SCP-102-1 corroborate this, regardless of the lease status of the photographer. However, when the leaseholder of the house enters via the front door, they find themselves in a fairly normal and well-kept condominium decorated with a nautical theme. Often, they report a sensation of dizziness upon entering, which fades within a few seconds. When the leaseholder of SCP-102-1 exits the building, they become what is to all intents and purposes an incorporeal spiritual manifestation, capable of willful invisibility and moving through solid objects unimpeded. They enter and remain in this state each time they leave the house for the duration of the lease. At the conclusion of their lease, or at any time they willfully break the terms of said lease, they fall briefly unconscious and awaken on the floor at the front entrance of SCP-102-1, which appears to them as it does to any non-leaseholder. No bodies have been observed being removed from the house prematurely. SCP-102-2 is the house on the right, number blank. At first glance, the effect of SCP-102-2 is identical to SCP-102-1. However, data expunged, advanced decay, followed by data expunged. These holders of SCP-102-2 who do not exit the building promptly at the cessation of their contract are to be declared missing, presumed dead, 30 days following the end of their lease. Leaseholders who do exit the building are to be administered a regimen of steroid-based enhancers to counter the data expunged, it turned constantly for signs of psychological aberration. Addendum. All information in this report is unverified, though details are consistent from multiple sources. The content of this report was taken from interviews with D-Class personnel numbers 1070869, Death Sentence, Rape, Murder, 103364, Life Without Parole, Aggravated Sexual Assault on a Minor, and 337633, Death Sentence, Redacted, all of whom were frequent tenants of SCP-102-1 prior to incarceration. It is theorized that D-1033654 made use of SCP-102-1's effect to commit data expunged. See interview logs 102-1, 2, and 3 for full transcripts.